It's now time for Gary Radnich from the Jack in the Box Sports Desk. Now, good evening, everybody. America's most popular sport in recent years has been hit with a number of serious uh, off-the-field problems. Tonight, arguably the most disturbing. Transcripts of voice messages and text messages left for Miami Dolphin Jonathan Martin by a teammate, Richie Incognito, show a pattern of racial epithet and derogatory terms towards Martin, referring to the female anatomy and sexual orientation. Reportedly, these stem back as much as eight to ten months. Martin left the team last week after a lunchroom incident where he sat down and a number of his teammates got up and walked away. As a result of these uh, revelations, Ignagnito was suspended indefinitely by Miami. Here's a transcript of just one voice message Incognito left Martin earlier this year. Three. Two of my children go to school right behind her at the university school. You know, and as a parent, when they walk in those doors, I have certain expectations that the administration, the teachers, and the staff are going to create a safe atmosphere where my children can learn and develop as people. And this is no different. Richie Incognito is a racist. I think he's bigoted. I think he's a bully. I think it's all wrapped in to one package. Uh, I don't want people to be under the perception that conduct in an NFL locker room uh, is not somehow that we are not aware of what is societally okay and not okay. I've heard a lot of that today. Well, the locker room is a place where people are very different. Uh -huh. They're not this different. All right, let's go to this uh, transcript here and follow along with me. Hey, what's up? And uh, Martin is uh, biracial, so you half N piece of S. Uh, I want to S in your effing mouth. I'm going to slap your real mother across the face. F you, you're still a rookie. I will kill you. And that is from uh, uh, this incognito. And listen, the obvious, obvious, obvious way to go is to say this guy is a moron. And uh, if you check this incognito's background, he's had a number of uh, incidents at every stop of his career. But here where I, is where I think the problem is, uh, for those of us who follow sports. So often, if a guy has some talent or can be of service to a team, they will let it go and let that behavior go on and on and on. And here's why that poor, weak-looking Miami Dolphin coach is, you know, he's, he's through at the end of the year. That incognito is going to be through now, and rightfully so, is that he selected what they call the, uh, the team council. And actually, the players pick who's on that council. And that incognito was a member of that council. So here's this young rookie, uh, Martin, and now into this his second year. You know, he, he's afraid to say anything. He thinks maybe that's the way the National Football League works, one that we have not mentioned yet. He, reportedly, he was asked by this incognito to finance a trip for his fellow offensive linemen. Give them $15,000 so they could go off on this trip. Now, you know, we go on and on about this, but that's the, the one thing about sports that just is scary to me, is that if a guy has a particular talent, people will let it go. They'll make excuses for him. They'll keep him on the field. So what you're watching, you know, this is not totally an isolated incident. Hopefully to this extreme it is, but it goes on quite a bit. So just remember, when you're cheering, when you're rooting for these guys, when your whole life is wrapped up in, uh, in a football team, just remember some of the people who make up that team and some of the people in charge of these teams that will allow uh, any type of behavior to go on. Now this Martin, the kid who's uh, been the victim of all these uh, racial, uh, you know, these racial deals, he said he will never play for the Dolphins again. Right now as he, uh, he is on leave from the team, this incognito has been suspended indefinitely. And it's one of the few things that really, like I said, guy wins a game fine, guy loses a game fine. 
fine. Guy misses the last shot, fine. This is one of the few things that really gets me worked up is that our society is so bent on sports, and thank God in certain respects, you know, I'm able to earn a living by talking about it, but that people like that, like that incognito, are allowed to behave for up to 10 months in a manner that uh, he's a racist, he's a sick individual, and yet because he can block and grunt, they allow him to get away with it. So, uh, again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This story is going to blow, and I mean really blow sky high.